everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be walking you guys through a typical wash and go day for me so after a busy work week my hair had tons of build up so it's certainly time for a wash day i'm going to first start out with my moac moisturizing shampoo and if you've watched my previous videos i love 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 this brand and i'll go ahead and list the details below so i'm going to first start off by massaging the shampoo into my scalp and i typically like to start with my hands and then later go in with my scalp scrub brush to ensure i'm really getting all the oil build up and so that i have a clean scalp for growth now I'm just rinsing the shampoo to begin my next step. I really like to be thorough in my wash process to ensure I'm maintaining a nice, clean, and nourished scalp and to also make room for growth and definition of my curls. Next up is my Brigio shampoo. I always shampoo twice to ensure I get rid of the dirt and impurities completely and also to leave my scalp squeaky clean. I am also completely in love with the Briochio brand because it's free from harsh sulfates, silicones, and parabens, helping to retain the natural moisture of my hair so it does not lose its natural shine and definition. And that way it makes it gentler on my hair and doesn't strip my hair of its color and moisture. I'll also provide the details below. And now I'm just repeating my previous steps and rinsing the shampoo out of my hair. And moving on, I'm beginning my conditioning process, which is my Briogeo conditioner. The smell of both the conditioner and the shampoo is so amazing. It has a very strong fruity and mango smell, and it literally makes your whole bathroom and hair smell good for hours. Not only, but the softness, shine, and moisture this conditioner provides is like no other. Typically, I like to use my fingers to comb the conditioner through my hair and also massage it into my scalp, making sure I get the ends of my hair very well. Then I go back in with the shower comb to detangle and smooth my conditioner into my hair. And now I'm just rinsing the conditioner out of my hair. I always like to make certain that I'm very gentle and careful with my hair while it's wet because when your hair is wet, it is the most susceptible to damage. Last step in my wash process is my deep conditioning process. I currently use the Giovanni Smoothing Hair Mask. It has a lot of great benefits and ingredients, including shea butter, sweet almond oil, and super good elements conductive to hair growth and maintenance of your hair. I use about two to three tablespoons and repeat my normal conditioning process. I start by massaging my hair and then finger combing the product into my hair, ensuring that I am also focusing on the ends of my hair as well because a lot of times as a curly head, we tend to have more breakage and split ends a lot faster than a typical person with straight hair because of our curl pattern. Now I am wrapping up the final stages of my wash process and because I am also going to take a quick shower, I wrap my hair up into a clip to keep it out of the way. Now, since I've finalized my wash routine, it's time to begin styling and adding my products. I began by taking my hair out of my microfiber towel, which minimizes the breakage that a traditional cotton towel causes. Now I'm going in with my OGX Argan Oil Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. I absolutely love this leave-in cream. It makes your hair smell super good, and it literally makes your hair float. Also, it defines and moisturizes your hair so beautifully. And now I'm finger combing this into my hair, making sure I take the time to really focus on every piece of my hair as well as my ends. Next up is my Giovanni Leave-In Conditioning and Styling Elixir. I like this product because it really helps to texturize and add the gorgeous bounce to my curls and it's free from sulfates and other damaging chemicals. And as I continue to add this, it also helps my hair health and growth that it needs while also adding the shine that I really love. So while I was adding my leave-ins and curl products, my hair began to dry and I really like to add all of my products while they are wet because it gives my hair the perfect amount of moisture and also helps to improve the look of my curls overall. I really like this spray bottle because it has a mist-like appeal without damping my hair too much or without soaking or re-wetting my whole head. I can evenly distribute my hair products. Now it's time to apply my favorite product of all, which is my MOAC Curl Cream. I am absolutely in love with this product because it's lightweight, made up of natural ingredients, it tames my frizz, and it has a natural high gloss appeal. And if you've watched my previous videos, you would also know that I am a firm advocate of this product and I will probably never stop using it and you'll see why. 
Last but not least is my most important step to my defined curls, which is my technique of applying my microfiber towel by tilting my head down and scrunching my microfiber towel into my curls. If you've watched my previous video, I've been doing this process for years and it has never failed me. Okay guys, so these are the final results. I absolutely love, love, and love the final results. I was able to achieve the wash and go look without too much of a complicated process. My curls look so moisturized, healthy, and defined without an insane amount of shrinkage while also maintaining my definition. Thank you guys for tuning back in. I so very much appreciate you guys' support. Creating these videos for you all has been an absolute pleasure of mine. Please, please, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It really goes a long way. I look forward to continuing to create more content for you all and tune in next week for another video. Love you all and stay tuned for next time.